Today, I'm going to be showing you guys an absolutely broken new card that allows you to flash in multiple threats with powers up to 12 12. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at a Naya ramp deck with some brand new cards from the early access event. We went against a lot of streamers today. It's going to be a lot of fun. We played some really cool, uh, you know, creators I'm sure you guys are familiar with. And uh, we did so with this Naya ramp deck, and it worked really, really well. And it works around a single build around card here, Smuggler's surprise this is what we kind of built this thing around it's a one mana instant card it's a spree card which means you can invest more mana into it later to trigger you know different abilities on it it's kind of a flexible play but the two we're going to be focusing mostly on here is the milling four cards to pull back either two lands from your graveyard or two creatures or you could pay six mana which is the golden ticket and we're going to be able to play two cards at instant speed onto the battlefield creatures um, and if we have something like a Galta in our hand, we can unload the entire hand in a single turn at instant speed to hopefully win the game on the follow-up turn. And some of the creatures we're gonna wanna get onto the battlefield here today are gonna be things like Rail uh, Railway Brawler and Terror of the Peaks. Both of these cards, when coming into the battlefield with other multiple creatures, trigger uh, different events, right? So the Brawler's gonna put on some 1-1 one -one counters to double up the power of that creature, and Terror of the Peaks is gonna act as removal, basically burning out uh, whatever targets you need to burn out uh, to get off the field to attack in the following turn to win. So there's a lot of synergies there between these three cards. You, you drop a Galta, you hopefully unload a couple of these. You get, you get extra power, extra damage, things like that. We ramp along the way with things like Stomper and the Garden, which can also remove some th uh, threats off the field. And because we're a deck that's running only big threats, three and above, Temporary Lockdown is the perfect removal sweeper spell for this deck because obviously the aggro decks, they're not going to like that. And especially when we don't have anything that's going to be taken away. Why not, right? And then some for early some early game to kind of keep us alive. We got the Lightning Helix, which can offer some removal early game as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the deck in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll jump right into it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys at the end. Peace. All right, what do we got here? Um, oh, that's not great. Three temporary lockdowns without the mana to cast. Yeah, that's got to go, right? I can work with this. I can work with this. Let's do it. Rock Fall Veil vale comes down. And then we have double green for Stomper. We have Garden. The curve is just really beautiful here. So hopefully there'll be a target for the Garden and it's not, you know, control or anything. Uh-oh. Blue land. <laughs> okay, there's targets. There are targets. Prototype is interesting. The tap and untapped artifact or creature you control add mana. That is quite the interesting card. No counter spell. That's good. We're playing hello good game, by the way. Uh, yeah, we'll get red. Maybe I should have grabbed white. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but... Oh, it's Synthesizer. Okay, so this is an artifact build as well, and the Synthesizer is absurd. That's the card that ran the entire engine of my artifacts deck, so we're definitely going to have to take that out. That is 100% the target here. <clears throat> yep, yep. Underdog, thank you so much for becoming a member of the Marty Mob. I appreciate that very much. Appreciate you. Thousand moons. Um, Stomper doesn't really help us too much here. Temporary lockdown is pretty cool, but it's not the biggest of hits. I think I should probably go Terra the Peaks here and try to start, you know, shooting down some of these bodies they create. We'll see. I don't know if Terra the Peaks is going to quite get the job done, though, if I'm being honest. Uh, we are unable to find our big spell here, which is the, uh, where is it? Smuggler Surprise. We still haven't seen that card yet. As soon as we get that card, we're going to be in business, man. Anthony, Anthony, I'll thank you in a minute, man. I really appreciate that a lot. All right, they're clearly going to flash in another artifact here. Uh, we're going to say no blocks. I'm not falling for that. I almost did. He almost got me, though. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so even if I hit another land drop here, I can't really turn on the, uh, the stomper. <clears throat> I'm very, very scared of that synthesizer, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is a very tough card to have to play against. But we shoot down this. We get in for the five. Big stomp, man. Oh no, Terror of the Peaks gets taken out. Okay, I see what their plan was that last turn. They didn't have a flashed in artifact. They had Seat of the Empire. God breathe. Thank you so much for the five, brother. Appreciate that. Dude, I really appreciate that very much. I'll read your guys' messages and stuff right after this game. I, I do appreciate you. Um, okay, so if we go with this and then Stomper, that's a pretty solid turn for us. Yeah, I think I like that the most. Stomper. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel really bad when we get, like, a really good card played against the opponent. You know, I've been there. I've been on the other end. It's not fun. Uh, poor hell of a game, man. That's tough. And now all our stompers are going to be massive. Things are going well, man. I do need to get one more land, though, in order for, uh... Oh, that's really good, though. That's really good. Crafty Artifact. Okay, what does it become, exactly? A 5-5 five, five, crew 1 tap. Two other artifacts you control. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's tough. We're gonna have to play this for now. We are just lacking one singular land to get this job done, man. One more land, we can run over the opponent. They draw Mirex land, which is not good. That cruise for oh that cruise for one. I got the land. This is it, guys. I think we did it. I think we did it. We take out their only ability to block here. And we send the whole gang on through. Good game, my friend. Good game. That was a really good game. We, uh, we've won two in a row now with this thing, and we still haven't even hit the nuts yet, which is, you know, our, our surprise attack, but we still haven't got that yet. I'm really excited to see what happens when we pull that card, but good stuff, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Stomper. I got uh, technically a white source off the Stomper, which leads to the Helix. This is a fairly scary keep here. I think I try it though. I'm gonna try it. I got double green, so I can't be too stingy with that. Still unable to find our smuggler surprise. All right, temporary lockdown is gonna be really good against this deck, I think. I think, I think. It's so far it is, but um, I ran a deck just like this earlier, so it should be pretty solid. We're going to take a lot of damage, though, in these next couple of turns. Hopefully this uh, Lightning Helix can get me back on pace. Um, but, yeah, we need double white, so it's really going to come down to whether or not we find a white source off the top here or not. If we don't, we're probably going to get ran right over. That's the card I was worried about, because that's the only card that Temporary Lockdown will not hit. So there'll be some leftover value for them if I do end up sweeping the board here. <sighs> you hate to see it. Not good enough. This is a 4-2 body that can block, right? So maybe we should go... No, 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 no. Go like so. 
and then hold the lightning helix up to take out oh wait i get the oh my god i completely i completely forgot that gave me a land <laughs> <laughs> that worked out so nice. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That worked out so nice. All right, I forgot that gave me the white source. I was gonna play it up as a blocker and leave my mana open for the lightning helix on the uh, tumble wag and make a block, but that works better. That works a lot better. I forgot when this comes in, you get that land drop, which is so sweet. Let's pretend I did that on purpose, right? I did that on purpose. All right. I like the hesitation here. That means no immediate answers, right? Another bristly bill. Sure. That's a another easy lockdown answer. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I need to get the stomper down though, get the white source. It comes in tap though, which is the real issue. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. Tough one to get another. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just do this. Uh, let's just, uh, I don't wanna screw up my mana again. Let's do you, you, and you. <clears throat> let's get a white source. Right? Maybe I should have gave myself a chance to draw into a white source here. Sure enough, I did, but it's a tap land, so it's okay. It works out. I'm going to kill this now before they have the opportunity to pump it any further or to target potentially another creature. And we can now swing through with our 4-4. I think we got it, guys. With the temporary lockdown in hand, this is looking really good. <clears throat> I'd really, really, really like to see the smuggler's surprise, though. We still yet to see that card. And that's what this entire deck is built around, so. There it is. <laughs> Little late. Little late to the game. Good game. Yeah, it would have been pretty cool, though, because what I could have done here, too, is I could have used a Smuggler Surprise, and I could have um, milled myself out at instant speed next turn, and then I could have grabbed two creatures from the graveyard, and then I could have played Galta and then dropped those two creatures on the field, which would have been equally as, equally as awesome. But, GG. So we got Temporary Lockdown on three, but with no third land drop. Of course, we got our Smuggler Surprise, but we get two of them. Three mana, mill four cards, put up that I could get lands through the smuggler surprise, which is very helpful. I guess we try. Uh, we haven't had the surprise yet, so... I suppose we give it a shot. Skeletons again. Could have swore she was playing that earlier. Give me a red land just to make my life a lot easier, please. Make my life so much easier. Daniel, thank you, man. I appreciate the gifted memberships, man. I'll get to you in a minute. Thank you. Tiny Bones. Tiny Bones is a scary card, but not when the graveyard's empty. It's just a 1-1 one, one for now. Oh, this is the second time we've seen this sort of combo, huh? It's a pretty cool little one-two combo, I can't lie. Um, I need another land. It, it literally just comes down to that. Can we find our third land drop? If we do, we're in good shape. If we don't, it's bad luck for us. I think I'm running 26 if I remember correctly. Uh, discard a card. Let's discard... Probably you. They draw another card. They're not able to play anything from our graveyard, though. They found a land drop. 
No, they didn't. Okay. Give me a land drop. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. Not like this. I don't want to lose games like this. This just feels terrible. Okay. <sighs> that really sucks when it comes down to that, where it's like, you draw it, you pretty much shut down their whole field. You don't, you're probably going to lose. I mean, we're not we're not in dire strengths or anything. It's not like we're, we're cooked here or anything, but it just feels bad. They still haven't hit a land though, which is fantastic for us. Um, Tiny Bones has no targets. They keep drawing cards though, which is a frustrating situation for us, but yeah, maybe it's temporary lockdown. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if they're gonna play any more one or two drops. If they would have, they would have probably done so already. So let's just take her field here. All of those things were legendary too, by the way. So they're probably going to have all three of those cards replaying again this turn. <laughs> yeah, no surprise there. All right, I'm going to play this and I'm going to go for the lands. There we go. That's what I need right there. Let's get red. There we go. Now we're playing magic, guys. Now we're playing magic. We're about to hit the big smuggler surprise. And that'll be really fun. <clears throat> That's a card. Committing a crime. They get the treasure. Okay. Another red, white source. I think the obvious choice here is to just take this out and <clears throat> gain that life back. Do a little ramping. And then we got to hope and pray that our top deck on this next turn is just something just absolutely gnarly. Something that <clears throat> pairs with the brawler because if we can Galta in the next turn, the smuggler surprise, it's going to be a good time. All right, we'll take it. I will take it. Uh, do you want to trade? I don't mind trading. I don't mind trading. All right, and if I if I understand correctly, the stack, the way it's going to work is the brawler should give the gall to counters. I would hope. Just in case though, let's go ahead and change the auto ordered triggered abilities here so we can Choose that for ourselves. All right, this should be a really good turn for us, I hope. Fair enough. That's 10 damage. I want to give him the least amount of time to react here, so... Let her play out her mana, hopefully, here. Okay. Ash Lizzle. This could be her last play or it could be the win. Uh, I was hoping she'd commit more. All right. Uh, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like it. Giving them Hexproof and Indestructibility, I think, is going to be the, the trick here. Yes, that's what I want. That order. That order is good. Okay, so Galta not going to get the counters, I don't think. Is it? It is. Okay, it is getting the counters. Nice. I had a bad feeling in my stomach about that. All right, we still win though, right? 15 damage. Boom, let's go. Okay, we got it. Whew. Let's go. Thank goodness we drew into that hulking raptor. I knew we needed another creature for Galta to hit there to make that really worthwhile. That was good stuff. Ooh, that was a tricky one. <laughs> okay, what do we got? We got the big, big boys and we got the smuggler surprise, but do we have what it takes to get to where we need to go. 
Uh, mana wise, I don't think so. I'm gonna have to take a mulligan there, which really hurts the soul. Uh, tear the peaks probably got to go here. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Red, white into red into lightning helix. Also, they play a body here that I can take out. Not quite. Not quite. Smuggler surprise though. Pretty nice because we can go ahead and obviously go fish out um, two creatures that we need down the road uh, by milling out some cards into the graveyard. Uh, enters the battlefield. If you cast it, exile target artifact or land territory it has all. Okay. So they're going to get the all, all the affected abilities of this. Oh, they can hit my land. Ooh. All right, I'm going to do this. They can hit my land. That's kind of absurd. All right, well, we've got... <laughs> A problem here guys <laughs> we've got a little bit of a problem here we uh we're a little flooded we're a little bit flooded here but it's okay we've been playing so well so far you know brody thank you brother I'll, I'll i'll get to you in a second here my guy thank you so this is just straight up this is just straight up um uh, land destruction that's pretty cool i can't use another smuggler surprise there just not not gonna happen they keep attacking my red sources too, which is really frustrating. All right, we finally draw into a creature. That's helpful. Probably gonna end up taking an L here. It is what it is. <clears throat> Boombox. Uh, sacrifice Boombox. Destroy up to one target artifact. Up to one target creature and up to one target land. There's a lot of land destruction this time around, huh? I wish I would have seen that. I would have had some fun with that earlier. Did not see that. Nice. Firewater. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Okay. My turn. More red mana is great, but is it going to get blown up? That's the question. <laughs> They're not doing a whole lot other than blowing up my lands at the moment, though. That's kind of cool, too, because that's a ramp spell, too. You're taking my land and you're ramping. That's actually really good. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. They're doing the thing. They are doing the thing, guys. The land destruction thing. That's... That's wild. I like it so very much, but I am very upset that it keeps happening over and over and over. I would like it if they could just chill out on my red sources. Maybe maybe aim for a green one once in a while, you know? Let me try that. Try to aim for a green one this time. All right, if I can top deck some other really big hits as far as creatures go, that'd be nice. Oh my god, dude. Surely we're joking, right? Surely this is a joke. Yeah, go ahead. Blow up my land again. You gonna go for the red one again? Shocker. Shocker. Dude, I would have been to the Smuggler's Surprise like four times already. Uh, how annoying. Good thing we got flooded this game. This might have been the one game I wanted to get flooded, so... Who knew that it was actually going to work out? <laughs> I'm just waiting to see what they do with all this mana and land destruction. Like, where are we going here? What are we working towards, you know? Is it good enough to stop my Galta? Uh, yeah, my turn. Okay. Oh, I can take that out. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I can take that out. 
but that's a bit of a risk too at the same time if i take that out and then they blow this up they're gonna get that back and then they're gonna take the land i'm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here i'm gonna risk it perfect i'm actually happy they went that route instead <clears throat> Because now they can't get it back, right? So, that works. Alright, that's fine. Fine with me. Oh, it's their turn. I thought that was the end of their turn. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, I thought we had the smuggler surprise there. I need to get I need to get one more creature. At least give me like a tear of the peaks or something here. That I can just throw a 12 fireball at their face or something. That'd be really helpful. Wouldn't even mind getting, uh, you know, our rhino. That'd be pretty cool too. Something helpful. Please, 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 please provide me with a little bit of grace here. I haven't seen much of any creatures, so the top deck um, likelihood of me hitting something good here is pretty high, I would, would imagine. Another Galta? Not what I was expecting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about to be eight. So I can actually play Galta straight up next turn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the damage. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like a mofo. But I can go smuggler. Get two creatures, hopefully milled off the top, put them in my hand, and then Galta my way into the victory the following turn. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's going to work, to be honest. They don't tap the moon. They don't tap the moon. Okay. Why did it have to be a Galta? Any other creature would have done just fine. Maybe I should play it. Maybe I should flash it in and block the 7-7. Seven, seven. Gosh, it's only 7 damage though. They're not going for the full amount. That's good. One card in hand. Do not let it be a sweeper, please. All right, come on. Come on, hit me two good cards here. Come on. Please, please, please. Okay, I got one good card. I'll take it. I guess it's better than none. And then hopefully Terra the Peaks comes off the top. Come on, please. Please, please, please. I'll take it. Sure. It works. It works. Let's go. Let's get, uh, do we have another red source? We should, right? They've blown up a lot of them, but I'm pretty sure we have another red. That's fine. Two, four, six. I still have enough here to trigger the Stomper's ability to attack and block. So we're still looking pretty good. I don't mind. I don't mind. I hope we do find another big one like a Brawler or a Terror off the top. That's the best thing we can top deck because we can go Galta again. And then from there, it should be a wrap. You would hope. You would hope. But... But these artifact tokens can get really big. Are they going to go for the moon tap here? It looks like they might. They don't, really. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the cooler decks I've seen today though. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tip my hat to that. Definitely one of the cooler decks I've seen. All right, what do you got for me, man? Looks like you're up to some shenanigans here. Oh boy, that's gonna kill a creature. But for six mana, one, two, three, four, five. They don't quite have six, do they? They don't, and I drew Terror of the Peaks. Oh my God, I drew Terror of the Peaks, guys. That's crazy.
That's crazy. Okay. Okay, you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> you're saying there's a chance. Okay, what if they double block here? Then I take three and then five. They actually both would die, right? Because this would go down to a five five after this dies. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Worth it. Double block me, please. Please double block me. They don't have a way to spawn an artifact on the field, do they? They do. They do have a way to spawn an artifact on the field. Okay. Didn't expect that, but I'm not tapped. So that does not help them. That deals five damage to attacking uh, or a tapped creature. Which typically when you're attacking, you are tapped, but not in that case. I think we got him, guys. I don't know how this, how this happened, but I think we got him. That's their win con right there. They should have got that a lot earlier. They would have been in a much better spot. All right. GG's, my friend. Ah, oh, I forgot they had that still. Okay. I guess it's not GG's yet. Not yet. You still got a little bit of... Uh, zest in your step, huh? Okay, I don't know what to say. <laughs> zest in your step. All right, let's attack. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up and go. <laughs> All right, get him down to two. I got a blocker. Chamil. That's going to create another construct. I still can go over the top, though. Chamil, though, I mean, if they find something nasty off the top with that, we might be in trouble. That's fine. Over the top. GG, let's go. Wow, what a game, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I enjoyed their, their deck a lot, though. Really cool. All right, so what do we got in the opening hand here? Definitely not good enough to keep sending that away. This is good. This is okay. Um, Probably drop this. Smuggler Surprise, the flexibility on that card has been really, really nice. The fact that we're able to fill up the graveyard and then grab some stuff has been really helpful with Galta. And then, you know, obviously the nuts, if we can flash into Galta, is absurd. All right. Got a really good temporary lockdown brew in here. It's all you. Kaito. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Thanks. I'll be taking that down. That's a good find. All right, that'll shut down the draw for now. For now. I'm sure they find a way to get it rolling again. And they might even be a reanimator deck looking to do, um, what is it? The reenact the crime. They could. That's a really good card. I use that in my Yoink deck. It's absurd. But here's the here's the trick, though, guys. I'm going to hit them with another temporary lockdown. And now they're going to have to sack a creature every single turn and take damage. It's actually not going to help them very much here, I don't think. Mostly because we have that lockdown. It's it's a bit of a shame. That's going to that's gonna hurt. Now the Greed's Gambit is going to hurt them. Unless they have another one. Yeah, they threw away the second one. Really? I, I would think you'd want to run it, but I guess, you know, chancing it on the second one there and I have another maybe lockdown, that would be a really bad. Uh, against trolling those Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is so good. Oh, wow. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Uh, I guess we pass. Uh, whatever face that tire opponent gets uh, Okay, I guess we'll submit that. All right. I'm just trying to make sure I understand that card fully. I was
was so excited too. I was so excited. I'm talking all that trash about how that card's not gonna be good for them. No wonder, because they were trying to get rid of it. Don't tell me you got another one of those. That would suck. I don't think we can recover from this, guys. Not unless I find another temporary lockdown off the top, which is very, very unlikely. Oh, there's a temporary lockdown right there. Yikes. I needed that. Okay. Um, Stomper. Or do we go this? Ah, Stomper, I think. Because the Stomper will have seven lands to work with, so it'll be, it'll be ready to go. Uh, discard. Seven. Oh, man. I gotta be able to get Galta down next turn. I have to. This, this Gambit, dude. That's so crazy. I love it, though. Yeah, they have another one, too. That's crazy. Ali Aldrazi got us good. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and flip the Falcon. I gotta try that. First thing I'm doing when Standard becomes legal, I'm trying that. That is so cool. I know something you don't know. I went from playing what I thought was the coolest deck I've seen today to this is officially the coolest deck I've seen today. All right. That sucks. Good stuff, man. I was feeling real comfortable too. I was like, dang, we got him. We definitely got him, but they flipped the script on us quick. <laughs> That's gonna do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's deck list and I apologize that the video wasn't in sequence. We did actually, unfortunately, forget to record a few of our games, which is super unfortunate, but um, we were unstoppable. We missed a couple of really good games that you can kind of go back and watch on the live stream that we were recording this on. Uh, and see all the games for yourself, but we were dominating with this deck. It was a ton of fun and it was very good. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one, but that is gonna do it for the early access event videos. We will be back again here tomorrow, hopefully with the cards being live on Arena for everybody to use. So that should be a lot of fun. I'm not sure what deck list we're gonna play yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. And I hope to see you guys there. And a huge special thank you to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on the channel. Huge shout out to everybody on that who is uh, supporting the channel monetarily every uh, month. I appreciate you very much for doing so. It means a lot to me. So thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace. The name is Fizzy, no Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, this is the meta. This ain't cheap.